Do you want to automate the task without writing code? If yes, then watch this tutorial. In this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your first automated workflow. Hey guys, my name is Watt and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your coming back and thank you, thank you so much for your support. I'm so happy to see all of you again today. In this tutorial, we are going to use cool thing. It's called N8N. It's a tool that allows us to create bunch of different automated workflows. This tool is really useful for almost everyone, writers, developers, uh, marketing specialists, and many, many other professions. That's why I recommend you watch this video till the end, because in this comprehensive tutorial, you will know how you can build your first automation and you will understand what is actually N8M. It will be simple tutorial that easy to follow and at the end, you will have your first workflow. If you are ready, then let's get started. What is N8N? N8N is a powerful open source workflow automation tool that helps you connect apps, automate tasks, and streamline your operations without writing extensive code. If you ever heard about uh, Zapier or Make.com, it's a similar thing, but with the flexibility of being self-hosted and highly customizable. The important thing, it's so easy to use because Visual Workflow Builder. Drag and drop interface makes building automation intuitive. It is already integrated with thousands of different tools and you can easily build something on yourself. Unlike other tools, this one is open source, it's a community driven and highly flexible. And the cool thing is that you can self-host it in your server, of course, if you want. So basically you have a uh, full control over your data and infrastructure. Probably some of you first time heard about this tool and you really don't know why it's useful. This tool enables you to automate repetitive tasks and integrate different systems without having to build in a custom app from scratch. For instance, you can collect the data from somewhere, manipulate with this data and then send it to email or Slack or even to another application or service. I strongly believe in this new era of AI, it's so important to know these kind of tools. And in today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about N8N. To get started with N8N, open n8n.io website, then click get started button and create an account there. After that, open website app.n8n.cloud and log into your account. N8n Cloud is a paid service with different subscription plans, but for our example, we are going to use free tier. There is a free tier available with a limitation of 200 execution per month and one active workflow. It will be enough for testing, and then if you will happy with the tool, you actually can use community edition version that you can host somewhere on your own. It will be free to use the full functionality, but you need to handle your own hosting, maintenance and updates. And I'm going to create another video how you can use N88 with Docker. But in this video, we are going to use FreeTAR. It's much easier, quicker and it's free. After login, you will be able to see that uh, orange button open the interface. Simply click on it and then you will be redirected to the dashboard. It is a place where you will go in to create your first workflow. It is a pretty simple. At the top right corner, you have the button create workflows. In the middle, you can start your first workflow from scratch or you can try sample AI agent examples. Once you create your first workflow, it will be available on this page, workflows. Okay, let's try to build something. I'm going to build a weather notifier to my Telegram messenger. I want to get the message about the weather in Bangkok every morning. So let's create our workflow. The first step, we have to select the trigger. A trigger is an event that will basically call the workflow. It could be a time of the day manual trigger or specific activities in your workflow. Because we want to use time of the day, we will select from the right hand side, from the right menu, schedule. Then on the left side bar, select the interval. For instance, I want to do it daily, 7 a.m. in the morning, every day. After that, click the button back to canvas. Or you can execute step to check if it's work. Then in the next step, we would need to get the weather somewhere. For this, we can use any free API services. In the right sidebar, select the core, 
because we are going to use API and we need to do HTTP requests. And then let's find some service. Simply go to Google and search weather API. I'm going to use this free weather API. I'll select the Bangkok as a city. Then I will select the temperature and forecasting for one day. Then I will select the Bangkok. And after that, just copy the URL at the page below. Then go back to an N18 website. From the drop down, select the method. It will be get method and paste the URL to URL field. Let's try to execute it. And as you could see at the right hand side, we have the response. Means our endpoint is working fine. Okay, step two is done. Let's go back to Canvas. Simply click get back to Canvas button and let's set up our final step. The final step will be action in app because we want to send message into Telegram. I need to find the Telegram from the list and then find the select message action and select it. Okay, for the Telegram, we would need to add some credential. In the first dropdown, select create credential and then paste access token here. If you don't know how to find the access token for Telegram, please let me know and I will write for you in the comments. But it should be simple and straightforward. You can use Google for that. Okay, this is my access token. Let's save it and seems everything is okay. It is valid and it's working. Let's save it and then close this window. Next, from the drop down, you need to select the message, then paste the channel ID. This could be your private channel or any other channel where you want to send the message. And then write the text of your message. Before write the message, please select the properties from the left hand side. We would need to select the temperature for specific time. For, uh, for me, it's seven o'clock. Simply click it and drag it to the right. And then you can write your message. And then in the preview, you will be able to see the result. And this is your message. The weather today is 28 degrees Celsius. You can change the message the way you like and add as many properties as you like. Once you're happy with the message, you can try to execute workflow or simply click back to the canvas. And seems for me, everything is working fine. If you will have any troubles, you will see an AI assistant right hand side that could help you solve the issues. Okay, let's go back to our canvas and try to execute our workflow. And as you can see, this is the message. Perfect. Okay, seems everything is working fine. Okay, and now you can give the name for the workflow, save it and activate it. And from now on, every day, seven o'clock in the morning, I will get the weather notification into my Telegram. And as you could see, without writing off any line of code, I can create this simple application that integrated with two services. Maybe it's not super easy, but as you can see, it's possible. And you don't need to have any specific knowledge. Another cool stuff with N8N, they have a lot of different templates. So basically you can copy ready to use workflows. Simply open N8N.io website, uh, write workflows, and you will see there is a more than 2000 available. You can use the search or you can browse the popular one. There are free workflows and then the paid one as well. Try to find the one you like. Simply click on it and then click the button use for free. Then click the button copy template to clipboard. Then go back to your dashboard and click start from scratch and simply paste things that you just copy. You can use control V command and voila, the workflow is here. As you can see, so easy and so simple. Usually the owner of the workflow provide the instruction how you can set up it and what would you need. Some instruction is really simple and easy to follow. Some instruction a little difficult. Sometimes there is a video. But again, without any line of code, you can create complex stuff. Okay, I think it's enough for today. Please give it a shot and share with me your comments under the description for this video. If you are interested about more topic related to N8N, please let me know in the comments below and I will create more videos about it. And that's it. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please click like. If you don't like it, it's okay. Please click dislike or you can click like, but share with me your feedback in comments below. I recommend you subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of cool videos and a lot of things will come in soon. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.